So back to training, and now that I have a ball machine that serves constant balls, the first exercise I wanted to do was more of an evaluation of my shots, truly understand which shots are strength of mine and which are weaknesses. So I divided the shots based on spin, court location, and of course the type of shot, forehand or backhand. In this video, I'm just gonna focus on my forehand. So I had the ball machine serve about 50 flat balls for each of the four types of forehands shuffling between top spin slice cross court and down the line now my goal for these shots was not to hit winners just consistent rally shots preferably trying to go for some angle or depth i used swing vision to acquire the court position and shot speed data some of these shots don't exactly land exactly where the data states but it gives us a good frame of reference to go off of Now, as usual, I noticed that when I simply try to get my shots in and not do anything more with the ball to try to improve my consistency, that is exactly what ended up suffering. Particularly on this shot selection, the forehand topspin cross court. It's a high conversion shot for me, so for some reason, I usually tend to lean more towards the safe side. I definitely think this is a shot where I can afford to be a little more aggressive put a little bit more power and depth, which would usually be to my opponent's backhand if I were playing a righty, perhaps force an error there, or give my shots more angle, force my opponent off the court and out of position. So there are two stats that I'm most interested in here. Firstly, of course, is the percentage of shots that are in. In this case, it's 89%, though there might be some discrepancies between this value and the true value. So to be safe, we'll take more conservative values. For example, here, we'll take 85 instead of 89. The second value is the speed. Now, I have absolutely no idea how accurate this speed actually is. I'm just hoping that whether they are accurate or completely inaccurate, they're constant meaning I can compare the differences in speed between the four different shots. I didn't want to go over all the four sets because it's long and tedious, so here are the values obtained at the end. There's no surprise that the highest conversion is in my top spin cross court, but as I did mention earlier, it's also significantly slower, so I could afford to lose some percentages in balls made and gain some speed. For down the line top spin, my conversion is definitely going to be slower because I tend to speed up the balls and try to go for the lines or as close as I can more often than not. The reason for this is not only am I opening up the court, it's usually to my opponent's forehand, so that shot has to be good, otherwise I'm in trouble. Honestly though, I'm pretty happy with those numbers. As for the slices, my cross court definitely needs some work. I don't do it very often. I definitely like to go more for down the line with a slice. The speed is slower because I did a lot of drop shots, which is one of my favorite shots actually. But overall, I think it's all right. Takeaways, increase the speed of my cross court topspin and increase my conversion of the cross court slice. Well, that's it for now. Next up, my backhand. <laughs> 